Hey guys. I'm Bob. I'm Barb. Together we make up Edis World. Today's travel day, we're going to start out dumping the sewer and we're going to be heading out of Bend, Oregon, Thousand Trails on our way through the Redwoods. So it's going to be awesome to Crescent City, which is a private campground right on the Pacific Ocean. But of course, things are on fire before we leave. Smoke, smoke, smoke. Stay tuned. Before we start this video, we want you to think about subscribing to our channel. Why? Because we're all about RV life, can and spider rides. It's free for you and it helps us out. We also want you to give us a thumbs up because that allows YouTube to pass our video on to more people to share. So let's get on with the video. Before we get this travel day started, we have to do one final thing to test out our brand new sewer upgrade. That is going to the dumping station. We all know we all love the dumping station. We are at the dump station today and the smoke is really bad. I mean, I could never be a true person who lives in a wildfire area, that is for sure. It's making my eyes water, my nose water. So I'm trying to wear this to help. But let's go see how our sewer does. So both of those are closed. We're hooked up. We're going to open up just the front one here. So nothing is coming out. And now he's pulling the gray. And see, we have just a lot of difficulty with that cord. That's black. So that works because we've got them closed off here. And that's the thing is if something went wrong. Ugh, there's toilet paper down there. Hopefully this goes down. Yeah. Is it close to the top or? So that's the thing is if something goes wrong, he can shut it off there right away, which it's a lot of times stuff does. And he would have to run over there trying to shut the black thing. And he almost bent the thing the one time. Just to let you see, there's no leakage or anything from the sides. Which I know is what everybody wants to see this morning. We have to hook our own hose up because their hose for some reason just wouldn't work. So we tried it without our little monitor and it just was leaked it all over so <sighs> the fun of being at a dump station we like full hookups much easier and we feel much more sanitary this is a sweet addition here having this security right here with these levers as you can see from the video it all turned out perfect and we are so happy with the upgrade and i'm going to link that video below so you'll see why we did it and how we did it well, the smoke was super strong that morning. I didn't even put on any makeup or anything because my eyes were burning, my throat was burning. I didn't put on any makeup either. I know, but he's gorgeous no matter what. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> but as much as I loved Bend, Oregon, I was happy to leave there because we were just in a permanent haze all the time because every night the fire smoke would just come down into the campground and encircle us and we had to kind of shut things off and, and really make sure that it wasn't getting into the camper so much. Yeah, we definitely weren't able to open the windows at this site. Just the, the smoke was so heavy and it wasn't even, the fires weren't that close to us, but they were a mountain away. So we were definitely getting the dense air at night would definitely bring the smoke down to us at the ground floor. And it did put kind of like a sticky, smoky sap all over the camper as well. Yeah. It's like it was almost burned stuff that was adhesing, adhesing to the camper. Yep. And of course, when you're out west, you cannot. Can't wash your camper. It's against the rules. Well, on our travel day, we did take Route 199. If anybody's been on Route 199, it takes you right through the Jebediah Forest. And with that, it's a windy, up and down hill road and the redwoods are notched out for bigger vehicles not to hit them when they make the turn yeah barb was squeezing on that seat very tightly trying to wish she could hit the brake because i was using the oh. exhaust brake to slow us down and it was a incredible ride through yeah. the redwoods on yeah. route 199. this is what barb learned about going out west and riding with bob 
Bob's just like, we're going to do it. We're going to use that jig brake thing and we're just going to be cruising along. And I feel like we're going 300 miles an hour. We're like, whoosh, 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 whoosh. and I'm just like, please don't hit. No, no, no. The F-350 dually handles that camper like a champ. Now the road is super duper duper narrow. We had to be sometimes almost a little bit over the center line when no one was coming just to make sure we weren't going to actually hit the side of the hill on the side of the road and stop a few times when we had to. I mean, it was probably the craziest drive that we'd ever been through. Yeah. Yeah. Who would think you would take a 44 foot camper through there, but it was, yeah. it was definitely windy. We're like, who thought that this was a good RV route? And then once we got through 199, we got a one, 101, which we all know that follows the uh, coastline of most of California and Oregon and up to uh, Washington. But that was only like a five mile ride from there to Crescent City, where yeah. we spent spent our next time at. So in Crescent City, we had originally said we were going to be there, I think, for two weeks. Two weeks was like $415 for two weeks, and it's right on the Pacific Ocean. Our plan was to stay there and then go inward. We were doing the Redwoods, and we're going to head in toward Yosemite and, and Tahoe and all that stuff. But of course, California was on fire. So instead we ended up switching our plans up and ended up going down the coast, which is what you're going to see in future videos. But we absolutely fell in love with Crescent City. Once we saw the fires were in the areas where we were going to try to travel to and just leaving smoky areas, we didn't want to put ourselves into that health risk again after the two weeks. Well, and they were shutting down Thousand Trails. Yeah, they were shutting down different Thousand Trails. So exactly. after our two weeks, we had, I'd went up to talk to the office and this park was like $500 for the month. So I thought, well, maybe I'll go up and negotiate them since we were already paying four fifteen. dollars Yeah. And he, he literally let us just pay the extra $80 or $85, I think it was, to extend us out for two more weeks. So we went ahead and took advantage of that because we knew we weren't going to be able to get those thousand trails because of all the fire. I'm going to talk a little bit about the campground and a little bit about Crescent City. Yep. The campground itself is of course flat. Um, it's got an ocean view. It's a city campground. You come right off the city into the campground right onto the beach and hence our number one only issue we really ever had with California was all the homeless. Not the homeless that hold signs that say we'll work for food and stand on the corners and really look non-threatening, but the ones that are more threatening, a little more scarier, the ones that are all contorted and bent over or foaming out of the mouth. That is something I've never encountered, nor do I ever want to encounter again. This is Hedis World's first time in California in the RV. And check out this park. It is gorgeous, right on the water here. We're in Crescent City, California at Lighthouse Cove RV Park. So we're parked over there somewhere, but when you walk through the park, you come upon a little path. And you've got all of this. Ah, feels good. Don't bite me, shark. Don't bite me out there, shark. I mean, this is gorgeous. I want to live right here, Bob. There is a shark, right? Little baby shark right there. I don't know if he's a baby. But do you see that? I was just out there playing a little bit in the water because I like the water. Why do you want to come eat me? Why are you up here looking for food? Man, I ran out maybe that deep. Bad little shark. Bob, you know what that means. We have found the shark. You're being challenged by the shark. Now I have to eat the shark. That's right. He has to win the battle. I am rooting for Bob. Here you go, Barb. <laughs> it's a misty day. At 5.30 in California. It's been like this all day. I'm in a Stephen King movie. Crescent City itself is a, a beautiful city, and I this is something I learned when I was there too. Crescent City is a tsunami city for the United States, and the last time it was hit with a tsunami is 2011. It's been hit 12 times before that, and they've kind of had to rebuild the city. Yeah, who knew the tsunami city capital in the United States was Crescent, Crescent City? City. 
They built a beautiful like hiking and bike trail, really trying to promote the city and grow it. The bike trail sort of took you over to the harbor. It took you over to all the boats and stuff. It also took you uptown. But this bike trail seemed to attract a lot of vagrants and um, yeah. people on drugs. But most of them were passed out on the side of the, the uh, trail and stuff. But you walk past them and they seemed to all have dogs and they all seemed to have bicycles. Yeah, the park told us don't put anything outside. Anything you put outside will be stolen. And they had these bike chains that were like this big that we could rent for like 40 bucks or something like that. And it would tie up our bikes if we wanted to. We found the park to be very, very nice. There's no thrills, no bells and whistles in this park. It's basically a parking lot, gravel, nice yeah. wide spots. On the ocean. And But we had no encounters. I think I we had one encounter of one person walking through the park. Yeah. And it was starting Thank to you. get a little cooler at that time. When, yeah. What time of the year was that? September. So, so we're up to September of 2022. So one of my little stories about this park is after we left Oregon, the camper would get a lot of soot on the camper. And I'm, oh, I'm yeah. very crazy about keeping the camper clean and keeping the roof clean. And um, so I had went up and talked to the manager up the park, which very nice people. Yeah. I asked him and he said, he goes, I would love to let you wash your camper. But he goes, if I do, everybody else is going to want to wash her. So me being the crazy person i am with trying to keep the camper clean i would get up at two in the morning and i didn't really actually wash it but i did hose it down just a little bit of water we were not wasteful in california yep i was out there with the with the uh dumpster divers that were diving in the dumpster at night looking for some food and i was just trying to wash my camper off a little bit it, but to add to the story is that you're also in a Stephen King movie right now where you're completely sa surrounded by the mist. Yeah, every morning the mist would move in off the uh, Pacific. It was beautiful. I you mean, couldn't it was, see anything there. It, it was like being in a, in a movie, like she yeah. said. But it was uh, <laughs> it was very beautiful. It would clear as soon as the sun would come up the rise and it would just burn it off and it was gorgeous. He'd just clean a little bit every day until he got it all done because yep. he cannot stand. Yeah, I did it over two summer. nights. I just kind of gave you the hose off. In our future videos, we're going to be showing you a little bit more about Crescent City. Uh, we did get to see uh, some sea lions and some different things like that. So we'll be sharing that with you in an upcoming yeah. video. So we hope that you like this video. Please give it a thumbs up. We want you to smash, smash up that notification bell. Let us know your comments. Uh, have you been to California? Have you ever been to Crescent City? We want to thank our friends and subscribers, Tracy and Ray, because they actually recommended this park to us because we really wanted to tour the Redwoods, but we couldn't tour the Redwoods because there was no Thousand Trails Park there. So they helped us find a way to stay there efficient and economical. And they're river stoners too. I know. Super cool people. So thanks for staying tuned till the end. So you guys got to remember, we're Hedis World. Come travel in our world. And you better subscribe. Bye.